Long, long time ago, there was a man and his wife in a village. The village is very far away. It is called Agodo village. This man and his wife had a young son, a very bright young son. His name was Ade. Every morning, they would go to the farm and come back in the evening. One day, as they were going to the farm, Adi heard some sound. <laughs> he couldn't know what it was. And then he asked his parents, Father, what is that? He says, That's a whistle. A whistle, what's a whistle? Oh, a whistle is something you can blow, and people can enjoy, and they can makes you sing like a bird. Oh. Can you buy me a whistle? The father said, why do you want a whistle? Why do you want a whistle? I, I'm not going to buy you any. And the mother said, oh, let's buy uh, him a whistle. My darling, let's buy him a whistle. When we are busy walking in the farm, then he can blow his whistle and enjoy himself. The father said, OK. Are they, I get you the whistle. And so, they bought a whistle for Adi. And each time they go to the farm, when the parents are working on, on, on the farm, Adi would go about singing with his whistle and enjoying himself. One day, Adi forgot his whistle in the farm and did not remember until they got back to the village in the evening. Adi was very unhappy and told his father, Father, can I go and take my whistle in the farm? I forgot it today. The father said, why? It's too dark now for a child. Don't try it. Then he, he went to the mother. Mama, I want to go and take my whistle in the farm. I forgot it there. Mama said, this night. It's too dark now. You can't do that. It's all right, Mama. Can I go tomorrow morning? He says, no. Tomorrow morning. Don't go out. Don't go out. The king has sent out a message that nobody goes out tomorrow because a wicked magician is coming to town and he would not like to see anybody in the village. Uh, yeah, Adi was not satisfied. Then he went to his father. Daddy, uh, uh, can I go tomorrow morning to take my whistle in the farm? And Daddy said, don't try it. Tomorrow is a terrible day. That wicked magician is coming to town. So what I will ask you to do is sit quietly in the village and enjoy yourself. But Ade was very clever. He was not satisfied. So the following day, when he knew his parents were very busy, he got out quietly from the village, from their house, into the village. And as he was going, what did he see? He met that wicked magician, very huge, very wild. And then the man said, who are you? Who is that? Stop, stop. He said, no, I can't stop you. He, he tried to run, but the power of the magician caught him. And he said, stop. And I said, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Said, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, sir. Who are you? Uh, I'm Adesa, and uh, I'm just a little boy. You're only a little boy, and you, you are here today. But you're not told that nobody should come out today? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. But the magician did not take Ade's pleadings. So he turned him into a singing bird. And the singing bird flew into the village, and then uh, began to sing uh, like a, like a bird. <laughs> His usual song when he goes to the farm, I'm a little boy, I can whizzle now, whizzle, 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 whizzle. <laughs> and people gathered in the village to watch 
are they singing as a bird? You can now see, you can now see the result of his disobedience. So, to disobey your parents can be very dangerous.